Today we'll be showing you how to block a fascinator and also how to stiffen the blocked fascinator. So I have my mold, I've wrapped it up with a cling film and this is a paper mat and I'll be using this paper mat to block this fascinator. I also have my pins, they are what you can see, that little pins are on the table. Now to take my measurement, most times I don't really take a perfect measurement of the mold when it comes to blocking because I don't really want to manage the materials. So I will just put my mold on the material, imagine it or wrap it around and see if it will go around and that's it. So I will now have to double the, the paper mat. So just to overlap it, I'll just overlay it on the other material, cut it out. That's just what I did here. So the next is just how to arrange this paper mat and block it perfectly well. So one layer will be on, on an anti-clockwise direction. This gives it a, fine, a kind of fine pattern. It brings a fine pattern, not especially when it has to do with a cinema. So, as of default, I also do it with other forms of material. So, now I'll be blocking right, north, south, west, and east. That should be your first way of blocking. This helps your blocking to be perfect at the end of the day. So, it does not have to shift one side, one towards one side. So, this helps actually to give a perfect blocking. Always think about your north, south, west and east position when you want to block. That's tip number one. So after this, after doing this, the next is to just take one side. After blocking the fourth side, that, that particular side, you don't go directly to the next side. Just go directly to the opposite side. I don't know if I actually filmed this particular thing I'm talking about, but it's a good thing you should consider. It helps you. Then after that, you can see I didn't actually film it. My apologies. But when you are done with that, you do the same thing with the opposite side and you finally block it and it will now end up looking like this particular one I have here. Okay, here we'll be talking on how to stiffen the molded hat. So as it stands now, I have my bowl, the brush, the water, and the stiffener. Stiffener is always available at any millinery shop you walk up to or you walk into. So just ask them you need a stiffener and they'll present this to you. If you're in another country, just ask, walk into any millinery shop or a millinery shop go ask them you need a hat stiffener they will surely give you and recommend the best for you so as it stands now i'll be taking the quantity i need and i'll be checking the consistency if it's a bit thick i would want to mix it with a little bit of water to get the perfect consistency i'll be, I'll be needing so as it stands now i already have what to take to cover this whole hatinator or hat so i will start brushing through to get this all done and um, my advice is be generous with your stiffener it helps to keep the shape of this fascinator or the hat and also it helps to make um, it assist in the duration or it makes the hat durable at least it can last long for some reasonable years you would want to use this hat so that's the good thing about this and when you are stiffening this hat or any hat or fascinator at any curve please be generous at those points it helps to keep the shape of the fascinator of the hat so that's just my take on this and um, i hope you're enjoying the video as it's, as it's going on thank you
so this is all you have to do and after you're done with this just dry it up and uh, for the next six to seven hours or eight hours depending on the sun for the day i think it will get dry and your heart is ready to or mold then you can start making your designs thank you for watching please do subscribe and have a great day bye